E diamo uno sguardo alla tecnologia indossabile che è una grande tendenza, si parla molto del fatto che gli abiti sono smart, io acquisterei immediatamente una giacca che possa ricaricarmi il telefonino, ma ancora non l'ho inventata, ma a New York c'è un, uh, uno stilista che ha inventato una giacca che è alimentata lip man, lip, a lip raggi solari lip man, a Buongiorno, per me è un grande onore essere qui oggi e potremmo iniziare questa, um, questa partecipazione um, questa pista sono due pista 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 Not far from where we are right now, Pietro, one from 2005 above, above and one from 2013. The main difference in these photos, it is easy to see that even in the past decade, we have evolved dramatically to live our lives through technology. While these devices have enabled us to communicate faster and from anywhere, providing us with every ounce of information at our fingertips, we find ourselves instantly lost when our technology fails us. Instead of feeling free and mobile, We are often slaves to the pitfalls of a digital world. Why not seamlessly integrate our technology into one of the most basic extensions of ourselves? Fashion is the most pervasive and consistent expression of individuals in this era. So whether we like it or not, this is our new world. So the question I have asked myself is, how does fashion play a part in this technology-centered economy? For many of us, one of the first things we do and one of the first decisions we each make when we wake up in the morning is to decide what to wear. Yet the apparel industry is just beginning to explore the functionality of clothing and how it can facilitate and even solve some new problems that have arisen from our device-driven society. My project is just one example of the progress being made in the wearable technology space. It was during my Environment and Society elective course in college when I first learned about Progressi, solar energy, solar cells, and the increased use in the military, in, as well as in architectural and home design. I was particularly inspired by architects who were integrating sustainable practices into their work while still maintaining beauty. It was hard to grapple with the differences in the two fields. Architecture was embracing designing and innovating with sustainable technology, while the high-end fashion houses along New York City 7th Avenue, where I was spending my summer's interning, esempio, seemingly were ignoring it. Case di modo in a few designers at the time were experimenting with making fashion more in tune with environmental concerns, but overall, tech-driven fashion comunque, was largely under the radar. Che, uh, Experiencing this disconnect, moda, I wanted to experiment with technology e, and functionality in my designs. È, uh, at Cornell, I lived far from my classes e, and used to be out on my college campus all day. Uh, I wanted a to be Cornell, forever on the go, but my cell phone couldn't keep up with me. With the problem, Came a cellulare a non riusciva a starmi sempre indietro e potevamo in qualche modo avere un'altra fonte di energia senza avere la necessità di dover ricaricare sempre il telefono in una spina elettrica. Io ho lavorato con il direttore della tecnologia a Cornell, stava facendo delle ricerche tra altri progetti sulla conduttività. Goal has been Infatti, to explore the limitless possibilities of cotton through changing its physical properties. Research has been focused on, in Hinestros' words, the creation of electronic devices into textiles. Rather than adding or attaching electronic components to fabrics, we want for the fabrics and textile materials to become the electric component. In 2009, he was seeking a relevant way to explore cotton to textiles. So after some informal meetings, we decided to collaborate to make a chargeable dress using solar energy and cotton fibers that conduct electrical currents. This is my original sketch here. The challenge in this project was how to make the outfit wearable as well as functional. I designed the dress so that the wires connected to the solar panels were hidden and connected at the waist of the jacket, where a USB connector was sewn in the lining. Ultra-thin photovoltaic films were used so they did not interfere with the normal draping of the fibers. The cotton yarns became conductive by treating cotton with Cornell University's patented process, which combines nanoparticles and a thin polymer film. 
Even with the coating, the flexibility and comfort properties of the cotton is preserved. The inspiration for the dress color and cut was the sci-fi 50s era, and the pink hue of the dress, which you'll see next, references the retro style and color of 1950s electronics, such as the classic home phone that became popular in suburban communities during that time period. Here you can see photos of the dress, and uh, Henestras already proved he could create conductive cotton with his lab research. By combining conductive cotton with elements of renewable energy, we were able to make a jacket that charged itself as well as an iPhone. Back view is right here. And um, here's a close-up of the solar panels that we sewed into the dress. Okay. The Cornell Fiber Science Department continues to redefine cotton's abilities. Since collaborating on this dress, Henestrosa has proved he can make transistors out of cotton fibers, which are the building blocks of the future cotton computer. In the past four years since I pursued this endeavor, I have watched other products developed in the smart textile arena. Small, product, small startups are also pushing the boundaries of what kind of purposes clothing can serve. But we have some ways to go before tech clothing truly becomes mainstream. When I made this dress with my professor, we helped start the conversation of what could be when science combined with fashion. That is what being a maker is all about. What you are creating might be on the fringe of cool, unacceptable, or outside of the box, but you are actually what drives creativity and innovation. My dream is to one day see clothing lines that are not embedded with devices, but actually are the devices that perform functions in themselves. The future in this arena is limitless. Intelligent clothing and the smart textiles are the new tomorrow, and I am excited to be part of the development of this industry. Thank you. Ci dispiace, ma l'oratrice leggeva a una velocità troppo elevata per la simultanea. Grazie.